cheers with our, our wine glasses filled with non-alcoholic beverages. I don't know what you're talking about. Mine is clearly wine. Ew, it looks so gross. It's chocolate milk. It's so gross. It's chocolate milk. It's so gross. Mine is sparkling juice with no alcohol. It's sugar plum juice from um, Trader Joe's. It's good vintage. Yeah. Is it still good? Oh, are you trying to pretend it's wine? Ew. You're so gross. It's kind of a earthy flavor. Ew, I don't know how you drink that. With notes of chocolate. I think I might be the only person who doesn't really like chocolate milk. Am I Probably. Am I broken? Yes. I brought some treats. You brought treats? Yeah. What do you got? Well, first off, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bars. Are we going to eat eight of, bars of chocolate? Of dark chocolate okay. that range from different areas and different percentages. It's also from Trader well, I'm, Joe's. I'm glad that I've it's got this. It's called a chocolate passport. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got this chocolate milk to um, chase it with so I could clear the palate. I don't think that's how that works, but I thought it could be fun to try one. Yeah. Do you want to start with number one? Do you mean 60? I don't know if Peru knows how to count. There's like a thousand feet of string. Okay, we're starting with 60. As not Are, we're working our way up? Yes, it's like, you don't you don't start with red wines and then taste down to the whites. You start with the lowest impact on your palate and you work your way up, which is that how that 60. works? So this is well-rounded with subtle jasmine notes and a clean finish, ideal pairing, Cabernet Sauvignon. Ooh. 60%. Damn. Maybe I should have some wine. Cocoa Dark Chocolat. I'm so excited. You ready? Does this sound good? Yeah. Do you remember that chocolate store in... It's gotta, you gotta swirl it around. What was that? Was that Old, was that old Town? It's gotta... Do you remember that? Hey! I was trying to make a joke about switching Yeah, out but then you didn't give your wife chocolate fast enough. And that's like rookie mistake number one. Mm-hmm. Oh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. I can kind of taste the, the jasmine. Uh-huh. I have one more treat for you. Yeah? Unless you don't want it. I'm pretty good with treats right now. You don't want it? No, I'm kidding. I want a treat. Just got to wash down the chocolate with chocolate. It's another thing. It's another thing. Mm -hmm. It's an ornament. Well, you don't know that. I'm assuming it's an ornament since they all came in the same box. Wine guess. Keepsake. Oh, it's our 2020 uh, ornament. I didn't know what yeah. I grabbed, so there you go. So every year we try to get a Disney ornament with the year on it. From Disneyland, ideally. Yeah, usually we go to Disneyland and we buy an ornament with the year we on it. We go in December or November. Yeah. But with the pandemic, we couldn't. I haven't been to Disneyland in, since our November uh, for one year anniversary trip. I went a year ago. You went in December. I went in December. Yeah. Without me. December last year, not yeah. December. Yeah, that's good. Year. Well, it's because Disneyland's been closed since March. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so <laughs> we ordered gonna get here. Of, there we go. Um, Hallmark, because we liked that it had the year on it, and we couldn't find a lot that had the year. Yeah, we wanted to get something with the year on it. Oh, it's a glitter board. It's always weird when they, it's just packed with paper in here. There's not like a. Oh, there's glitter and there's yeah, glitter. Yeah, you got this. Uh, you got this. You, was, you paid money for all this glitter STD. And I love you for it. Hey, is glitter like sticky for you? No, it's not. It's just sparkly. I feel fabulous now. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. So let's see what today brought. Do I go first? Try Harry Potter? Yep, Harry Potter first. Oh, that is a lot of string. I told you. It's I like... forgot about it and it scared me a little bit. Found it. Day five. I just stared at this and tried to figure out what Star Wars person this was. <laughs> Also, it's a person. <laughs> I just straight up going, what's this? Is it Ron? No. <laughs> is, it, is it Hagrid? No. I mean, Honestly, I it's really not Hermione. I don't know who it is. Honestly. Is it a girl? Yes. Oh. Is it? It's probably. It's With probably a like a whole lot of cleavage. Like, dang, girl. Oh, is it? The, I wonder if it, is it, it's out of the giantess. I think that's who it is. Like, Madame Maxine. Ma Madame Maxine. I think that's who it is, but I'm not entirely sure also this looks blue but the picture looks white the wait how do you tell if she's got a lot of cleavage are you kidding me i guess which yes. one of us is going to be more familiar with boobies 
I feel like I'm pretty familiar Which with boobies. Which one of us has female boobs? Well, I don't have female boobs. <laughs> I make sure to make that distinction. Hey, look, once again, they gave me four wands. <laughs> Oh, it, that's how we know it's the giant. She gets a little booster. <laughs> What's happening? What are you doing? The head rolled all oh, the way up. That's funny. So it yeah, is, it's definitely it it's Madame Maxine. Madame Maxine. Oh, she is glitter. She is. We have a glittery she night. She's shiny. Yeah. Oh, we get two faces? she gets a sad face with quivering eyebrows. Aww. Or she gets a very happy face. We're going to give her a very happy Give her the happy face. Because she's at a ball with Hagrid. <gasps> we'll probably get a Hagrid. We're going to get a Hagrid. We'll probably get a Hagrid. I want Hagrid. Well, I hope so. They got to kind of build it. There was one extra piece. Yeah. But she doesn't have legs, which no. is weird. So anyway, day five, huh? Right? I found it. It's right in the middle. Is it a person? No. Is it a thing? Yeah. Is it a creature? No. Is it a droid? No. Is it a place? No. Is it a building? No. Is it a ship? Yes. Is it the Millennium Falcon? No. Is it an X-Wing? No. Is it this thing? I still don't know what it is. How do you not know what that is? I don't know what that is. Is that the Razor Crest? Yes. Oh, is it the Razor Crest? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's the Razor Crest. It's definitely the Razor Crest. Yeah, I, I, I see that now. <laughs> Ba -da -da -ba 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 I think this one tastes good. It's a good mixture of like Western, like Star Star Trek. No, it's Western. not Star Trek. I, it's like Star Wars, but Westernized, which yes. is kind of what the Mandalorian is. It's sure. like a cowboy yeah. TV show, you know? Yes, it's definitely it's a cowboy samurai sci-fi yeah. TV show. All those things. Are you being facetious? I'm not being facetious. I'm I think it's all those. Serious. No, I'm. Being 100% serious, I think it's literally all of those things. There are lots of elements of Akira Kurosawa, like Japanese mm -hmm. culture. It's definitely Western, like 100% yeah. Western. I'm just saying, I really think that um, Ludwig did a good job with the mm -hmm. score. Sure, yeah, I agree. You know what's something we never do? We never actually use our stockings. Nope. Should we do stockings? Well, it's because we never have Christmas here. Okay, whoa. Uncalled for. Shots fired. Reel that back. Well, it's true. Your tone. I'm not. That's fine. I'm just saying that's why we don't do it. It's not like we do our stockings at my parents' house. We don't. You're right. I made you a stocking and we use my childhood stocking yep. at my parents' house. And those things get filled. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. my well, we have these pretend sham stockings here to look like we do yeah. stockings. Yeah. You're missing the point. Because if we did Christmas here, we would use the stocking I made for you in my childhood stock. We would not use those generic target ass ones. But then you also say, oh, but we never use the stockings. And that's that's why. So, <laughs> so I'm just answering why. <laughs> How's it coming? Do you need help? No, I think I got it. Are you a little stuck? No. Do you have a piece in the wrong place? I don't think so. It's just, uh, there's a lot. There's so many pieces Stop to build it. on it's this. So it's so unfair. It's so crazy. Whatever. She came with an extra piece, so I totally had a to build today. It's true. I think that's it, though. Hi. I think this is it. This is it? Yep. That's a lot of extra pieces. That's what I'm saying. No, I got it right, right? It looks to be correct. Yeah. I feel like it's a little too long. And yeah. a little, little too thin. Yeah, it, it doesn't translate perfectly, which is why in the picture I was having a hard time because it looked like a fudge sickle, but not, not fudgy. It's too long and too thin, but it's definitely if you squint and cock your head, it's the it's the razor crest. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the razor crest from The Mandalorian. Yes. The hit TV show, starring The Mandalorian. <laughs> and then now we've got Maxine. Madame Maxine. Madame Maxine. Madame Maxine, Madame Maxine on the Razor Crest. I don't hate that combination. Really? I mean, I, I don't necessarily love it, but I don't hate it. I really like that it's been cohesive. In, yeah. the, in the Harry Potter one, we had the we had the boat, and then we had the carriage, and now we have her. Yeah. Are we gonna get the Durmstrang the Durmstrang guy? Durmstrang guy? But I hope we also get a Mandalorian, because I don't think there's an actual Mandalorian on no. here. Okay. Well, that's it for today. 
Let us know what you thought. What did you think of our new ornament? What did you think of Madame Maxine? What did you think of the Razor Crest? Let us know down in the comments below. Yeah. Like, share, and subscribe. Those things. Do all those. Also, hang out on Patreon. Or, or be a member on his YouTube that channel. That too, yes. Excuse me. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Bye.